Key worker Nicola McLean is in a desperate situation. She and her two teenage daughters are facing homelessness after the landlord served them with an eviction notice at the end of June. Six weeks at the most. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm looking. I have to find a, a home. I cannot afford for us to be put in um, emergency accommodation. She was finding it difficult to keep on top of her rent after being furloughed. She's now back at work and back paying her rent plus the arrears she owes. But that's not been enough to save the flat she's called home for 10 years. And she's being priced out of the expensive London rental market. That's a very real prospect, homelessness. Yeah, uh, means we lose our pets. Um, they could put us anywhere within a 90 mile radius of where we are now, which ultimately means that I will lose my job and be forced onto universal credit. My child will be forced to change schools on GCSE here. Yeah? It's devastating. Sorry. And she's not alone. With a country plunged into an unprecedented recession, tens of thousands are facing a similar fate when the ban on eviction to protect those hit financially by the pandemic ends next week. One charity says around 230,000 private renters in England have fallen into arrears since the crisis started. That's around 3%. And more than 170,000 have been threatened with eviction by their landlords or letting agents. The law is the backstop here, and that's why we need the government to act. Because if the government doesn't act, then what it allows is for, for people, maybe with families, with children at home, who have got into rent arrears because of coronavirus, it allows them to be pushed out of their homes. But the UK-wide body representing landlords is calling on the government to resist calls on another extension. Wales has already doubled the notice period required for evictions and the Scottish government is also proposing extending its ban until next March. In England, ministers say they are trying to balance the rights of landlords with the need to protect those of renters. And they're doing that by introducing new repossession rules requiring landlords when turning to courts to seek an eviction to provide more information about how the COVID crisis has had an effect on their tenant situation. For Nicola, time is running out. She has until the end of September to find somewhere for her and her daughters to live. Sejal Karia, ITV News, South London.